In this video, I'm gonna show you all the ways you can create buttons in your Canvas course. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today to show you maybe not such a traditional way of creating buttons in Canvas. I'm gonna show you how to create buttons with HTML. I actually think they look better than the traditional images, but that is totally dependent on a preference. So whatever you like, I'm gonna show you all the ways in which you can create Canvas buttons. This module I created basically gives you a great picture of buttons in Canvas. So you're probably most familiar with this last one, which is images into buttons. I'm gonna show you that at the end because most of you are probably most familiar with that one. What I'm going to essentially show you in all of these pages here are the different types of buttons you can create using HTML. So let's just get a basic overview. The introduction to buttons. So to create a button, you must include the following tag and attribute, which is the A tag. So this is an anchor tag that's used to create a hyperlink or really any link. And then class is the attribute with the BNT, which is the generic class typically for buttons. Then the button info portion, this applies when you are adding additional styles or background colors just to make the button look different. So we're going to take a look at a basic version of this first. So when I click on the next page here, you will see our basic button example. This is as basic as you can get. And yes, you can make different sizes. So here's the code that you guys can just actually copy and paste directly into your Canvas course. But uh, you have large, medium, small, and extra small. And you can see down here, we get some styling and the same different sizes. But how did I do this? So we have right here, let's take a good look. So right here, we have our A tag, then our attribute class, the button, the button is large. And then I just typed in here, basic button as the title for that button. And then all the change, so the things that you can see here and highlighted to make it the regular size or medium size, small and extra small or mini. So that's how we change the size of the buttons. Then down here with the additional style. So then we just added at the end of this attribute here, another part, which is button info to basically tie it to the course. This orange color here, why it's appearing is because it's a part of my canvas theming. And so I determined this when I decided the theming, which you can see mostly over here on the side, my pink color is my orange. So it's a part of my canvas theme, but everything stays the same as before up here. All that changes is adding the button info part um, at the end. And then we have the name again. So what if I want to create buttons that have more color? Well, on the next page, I'm going to show you that. All right, so now we get to have some fun with some styles. Uh, so for our color customization, you can customize the color background of any button, uh, but you have to basically use the style attribute here. So you'll notice when I zoom into the code here for red, it's the same as before here uh, for the button info and then the style background. So all I did was add this portion is style background color is going to be red. You can change this so you'll notice the yellow is really hard to see. Um, if I just typed yellow, it's not a very accessible, friendly color. So I actually made it this hex code dark, darker yellow. And I did the same actually for the pink button at the very end here. So these are just some really fun colors and just a really easy thing. Again, you can copy and paste the code and then get rid of the maybe the initial color and put whatever color you want in there. Let's check out the next page. All right, so these are outlined buttons. So basically now instead of filling in the button, the background is actually set to white and the color of the text and the border color is now red 
And I also changed up a little bit of the border radius, which is this rounding part here, so that they were just a little bit nicer, a little bit rounder, and I changed that. So if you increase this, let's say to 10 pixels, it's going to get even rounder. So just so you're aware of that. And then you can see we have the name of the button for red outline and so on. So that's really the biggest difference here is we're changing the background to white, we're making the font color red and the border color red. And again, you can change these to whatever color you want. Let's look at um, number three, the yellow one as example. You can see the hex code here, which you can just change this part to whatever color code you want. The last one that I want to show you for solid color buttons, and then we're going to get even fancier on the next page, is just the solid button. So it's really nice. As you can see here, I have added the background red. The border color is red. So it just looks like a solid nice round shape button and then um, the font color we just made black. If the code didn't really change very much, you can see we just kind of changed the background color, we changed the border color, and that was that was really it. And again, you can change your buttons to what Ever color you want, which makes it a lot of fun. So really easy to do just to copy and paste the code in. These are fancy and fun. So if you want your buttons to pop, you can actually make them stand out a little bit more by adding a drop down shadow. This isn't really that hard. <laughs> and again, if you're intimidated by code, that's why I include the code here for you to copy and paste into your Canvas course to make it a little bit easier for you. Basically, the biggest difference is the border. So we have the border bottom and we have the border right. And this is the only part that changes in each of these buttons. So you'll see here, bottom bottom, but now it's on the left side, which creates that dot, uh, drop down shadow on the bottom left. So then for the last two, you'll see we have border top now on the right side and then the border top on the left side. So this just is a fun button that you can create. And again, right now these are just medium size. Um, so if you wanted to add the BTN right here and then large, you can make these even bigger depending upon what you want to do with them. All right, so let's say I wanna use one of these basic buttons. I am just going to copy this code here and then we're going to return to, we're just gonna do HTML button page and I am going to select the HTML editor and paste this in. So how we would add a link to this because right now it's, it's just kind of dead. As you can see, it click on it and it doesn't go anywhere. So we're gonna click edit and we're going to select this and then add the link. So we're gonna go to course link and then I'm gonna do reading module and I am going to change this. So we'll actually go on the code side real quick and we're going to write reading module and then I'm going to click save. And now when I click on this, it takes me to the reading module. So now I think the most common way that teachers create buttons is through creating images with Canva or other illustrative uh, softwares. And so I'm just gonna show you the basic steps of how to make a image into a button. But if you wanna see a different tutorial on how I use Canva to create those buttons, uh, I have that in the description for you below. So I'm just in a blank course right now and we are gonna go over to Canvas files and I am going to drag and drop my image files that I have. I'm just gonna click and drag these files over and they're going to download relatively quickly. So now I'm going to create a page and we're just going to do images into buttons. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna come here to this image icon and we're going Going to click it and go to course images and here are my buttons. I'm just going to start clicking and adding them in and you're going to see that they are quite large and a lot of people tend to try to get the pixel right. We're not going to adjust these with pixels. I'm going to click image options and you'll see right now 
here is the pixel size. And since I have six buttons and we want it out of 100%, so 100% being the total width across the page, uh, that's gonna be 16% for each button. It's not gonna be perfect. It's like 16.6667. So I'm just gonna round down to 16% done and then move on to the next one, click it and just keep adding in the 16%. And you'll start to see that it's gonna make this really nice even line across the page. A lot of the times we'll see um, people have uneven buttons that look like this. And that is because you might have the pixels correct. Like it might all be the same, but for whatever reason, depending on the display, you just want to make sure that they're in percent because then they all are going to be equal no matter what. So we're just going to keep doing this over and over again. Okay, so now I have all of my buttons. They look really nice. You will notice that they are not really centered. So to make this look better, you're gonna go all the way because right now it's in alignment on the left side of the page. So I'm all the way over to the left and we are going to select center alignment. So now it's perfectly centered. My perfectionism is on cloud nine right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, so now let's turn these into a button. So very simply to turn these images into buttons, you're just going to select the button and then we're going to go to this icon, which it looks like a chain or a link, right? And we're gonna click on it. Now you have the option to do an external link. So this is a great option when you want students to go to maybe like an external site. Um, but for this example, we're gonna do a course link, which brings all of my course options. So you can do pages, assignments, quizzes, announcements, discussions, modules, and course navigation. I am going to do modules right now. So I have a reading module that I'm going to link this to. I also have a writing module. So it's really nice that like you don't have to, you can just select on the next image and then click on the link. Select the next image, click on the link. You don't have to keep going in the same order of select the image, link, come over here. That's kind of a nice thing. So now that we've done that, I'm just gonna do the first three. We'll click save and now we have our buttons like so and so when I click on it it will take me to that reading module I can go back and then we'll go to the math module and it takes me directly to the math module images are great because we get the icons which of course can help our students navigate through the course so you'll notice that the process between linking the HTML buttons and also the image buttons is exactly the same I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you're interested in accessing basically the mini course that I showed you in this video, feel free to click the link in the description. That is completely free for you to use. And you know I love my freebies. But what I ask in return is of course, if you would like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, that's how you can support me and how I keep giving you all these freebies. So if you like free stuff, I'd appreciate you liking the video. All right guys, well, I'll catch you on the next video. Till next time, bye!